I guess what I want to ask you regarding, you know, Biden now being, I guess, the uh, a media dubbed presidential elect. Um, I suppose there are some people, I'm sure some people who listen to the podcast who will have a an issue with giving Biden that label, but it seems like most people have accepted it. So I don't know. Do you want to start there, Will, with uh, where you feel like we're at on the the presidential election thing? I, I mean, I in a way, I feel like we're kind of just on the path of, uh, you know, the the Republicans need to have, go through denial and depression and then acceptance. And then, you know, we'll move on and Trump might sue in court. But overall, I guess it does appear to me that Biden will uh, be inaugurated as president, barring any kind of medical calamity in the next couple of months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is how it seems to me, too, that like because like at the, right at the point we're speaking right now, the media has called the the race for Biden. I don't think there's been any official like certification that he's he's won, but it seems pretty likely that indeed that he will you know take this win. Uh, Trump right now is like if you go and look at his Twitter feed, he's really not doing too good. He's really uh, c- kind of being a crybaby about it, I'd say. I mean, they are going to take some things to court, so we'll see if they can provide any evidence because Trump is, of course, still shouting from the rooftops that this is all a fraud. This is all a rigged election. And like, you know, I don't reject that claim right on its face. I would like to see some evidence for that. But to date, I've still not seen any real definitive proof for like, you know, s- serious irregularities that would explain Biden winning. It seems like he he may have won. Um but yeah, I mean, like we are we are seeing the the Republicans, the the conservatives, kind of going through the stages of grief, like you said, and some of them are kind of being crybabies about it. So I think we'll have to see that for you know qu- quite a while to come, uh, unless some crazy plot twist happens in the courts. But again, I don't really expect that uh, to happen. You know, one thing I've noticed a lot is, uh, especially when you look at the mainstream media and like you know the blue chats on Twitter, they're portraying this election like something that's never happened before. Uh, but, you know, looking back on, at least for me, uh, whenever you have a new president or potentially a new president coming into office, I mean, you know, in 2000, famously, you had the, what, month-long dispute over Florida and the several recounts between uh, Bush and Gore. But even with yeah. Obama, there were a, a lot of Republicans who believed that Obama could potentially not be an American citizen. And while everybody kind of chalked that up to racism, I think it was just like, their way of like denying the potential that Obama could be president and like needing a couple weeds to like accept it and sink in. And like, you know, you know what I mean? Like it's like a, a football fan whose team is down by 20 points at the two minute warning is like, well, if we just get a turnover and a touchdown and an onside kick and another touchdown and uh, you know, a fumble <laughs> and then a touchdown, we'll win this game by three points or something. You know what I mean? Like, like that's kind of the calculation I think that's going on here. And I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing that Trump's going to, you know, be a little bit of a crybaby and sue in court about it because uh, it, it may be the, the, you know, necessary outlet for the temper tantrum. Um, and, and of course, you know, I skipped over that all that in 2016, you know, at this point, if, if we're four years ago, Will, I mean, we're looking at the invention of the Russiagate conspiracy, uh, talk of using the 25th Amendment to prevent Trump from taking power. Uh, the Hillary campaign was looking to brief the Electoral College on, uh, you know, down, uh, the Russian interference in the election to try to get them That's to right. throw the, you know, election to Joe Biden or Colin Powell. I mean, you know, this is, I, I feel like, ju- just how much emotion that the, the mainstream media has us riding on these elections. Uh, and, and, you know, there is a lot of power to to change hands here and uh, for people who care about like very specific issues, it could make a a difference for them. But uh, yeah. Uh-